working community. I'm very excited to see what noise we're gonna make in the international scene over the next few years. There is a disparity in the breaking scene worldwide between the number of women and men in the scene. I'm hopeful about the level of Indian girls going up to express myself fully around a majorly male community is difficult and yet that is the direction I'm heading. also known as Beagle Joe. I represent Black Ice Crew in Bangalore City, India. The undisputed queen of big dancing in India, Beagle Joe. Sure, sure. So cute, no? So cute, I love cows. Hi, Noon. Bus depot. So I'm going to quickly try and register for the um, cipher. And this year we have like a separate B-roll cipher. It's the first year, actually. To me, B-Girl and B-Boy, it stands for Break Girl, Beat Girl, Bronx Girl. And I really like the girl and the boy at the end. It really like signifies that we always remain kids when we're breaking. So I grew up here. This is my like childhood home. Literally, I would come back from school and be bored as ever. And I would race my dogs here. I think we all have an inner child throughout our life and a lot of life circumstances and work makes it seem otherwise. This is my doggy puppy. But the kid in us is very alive and hip hop, breaking and this kind of play, it really helps us stay in touch with that. So what do we have to do? Put rice <laughs> and avocado. No, so first you have to put the rice. For the longest time my mom would not let me do anything in the kitchen. No, not <laughs> like I wouldn't let you do, but I was, I think it was just that we, you know, had to get food on the table and it had to be quick. There was not so much of time. Do you want to put this? But, <laughs> sorry. Okay. okay, roll it. Ah, so it? hard. Yeah, you need to hold it with both your hands from one side. Put one hand here. Joanna was always good at sports. And some of the teachers told me, the, the PE teacher said that, you know, she's got a really good running style and maybe you want to consider that she takes up running. But it was impossible because I was like full time working, full time running the house. And I used to feel a bit bad also thinking like, man, is she not getting the opportunity that she should? But there was nothing much I could do about it. So the only actual opportunity she got was in school. Then it comes very smoothly, see? Wow. Oh. Okay. Wow, they're perfect. There you are. Now we eat together. This is me when I went to Indonesia for like two months. My mom and I moved there, but then we had to come back because my dad met with his accident. That's when we lost him. So I was about seven and a half. This is my dada. This is also my dad and me in our house in old Goa. When I was growing up, it was just my mom and me most of the time. Sometimes my dad. In the beginning, it was with dad and then yeah. yeah but he would go between Goa and Bangalore yeah so she was definitely I got my first house key at seven 
more independent than any other child. By the time I was 11 in the city, I would take buses, Public go buses. around. Yeah. And it was also like a lot of exposure because I was really young and I did experience a lot of uncomfortable stuff. Like a lot of men used to like look at me and I've been like touched and stuff on this road to my house like at least three, four times. Because I remember the first time it happened here, I was about 11. And I froze and I just came inside and I started crying. And I replayed that moment in my head so much. And I was like, all I needed to do is just like push him or kick him, you know. And I think that's where a lot of my fire for breaking also came from. When I started at 17, I was like, every few moves I would learn, I would feel more physically empowered. I think sometimes I just listen to her dreams. And now I'm learning to ask how I can support her. In what ways? Training. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I think it's a, it's a learning for me too, because it's not the usual path that you know most people choose. Right now, we're in Rake Brahma studio, and this place has been a space for the community for about three to four years now. Turn and do this on this side. You know, like, turn and do what I turn this space from a prayer hall into a breaking space. We slowly got flow boards, thanks to my mum. I teach yoga out of here as well kids breaking classes, adults breaking classes, and small jams, as well as the performance night. So right now I'm going to Essence in Mumbai. Essence is probably like the biggest event over the year and I know that there are b-boys and b-girls from all over the country coming for this event. Yo! Are you at the venue? No, we're like seven, ten minutes away. There was a little traffic but we're on our way. As soon as you are here now, just give me a call. Bye. Bye. Uh, see you. It's completely organized by Flying Machine. So I'm going to be judging the 1v1 b-boy and 1v1 b-girl category. So I think today I'm going to be looking for like soul and risk and seeing whose day it is today, you know. <laughs> Looking fly! What's up? Crazy, dude. How was your flight? It was peaceful. Good? Yeah. Aren't you feeling uh, hot? I'm, I'm, I'm hot already. <laughs> VIP, VIP. Let's go. Flying machines probably travel the most internationally for breaking. And each time he went and came back, the whole scene understood something new about international travel, international yeah, jams. Mm -hmm. So I'll just get some coupon for you. Relax, okay? During COVID, everyone was like, you know, just stuck. The cases here were so high, it was so depressing. So now, when the jams are happening, it feels like, you know, okay, we started breathing again. Jump and sing, salute the king, heal to the king, the king of our king. Jump and sing, salute the king. Joe was the one who told me, like, you know, you should have eagles. You know, because there are very few amount of eagles that are in this culture. When I was first called onto the judging panel in India, I, it was before I even won a really big battle. But I stepped forward because I wanted a B-girl on that panel. So I was like, if they're going to call a B-girl and it's me, then I'm going to have to step up. Before, what used to happen was like, B-girls used to participate in B-boy category. And it was very tough for them to win. This is tough to do, 
so it's like a challenge for all the girls to like you know push their limits and they can be as good as b boys when there are like 80% men or 90% men it feels very intimidating for me when i would come into that space earlier i was not comfortable also being too close to men and through breaking and knowing i have the space to say something about it that's how i've slowly become calmer and i feel more safe also so i'm trying to have multiple competitions multiple jams where we just build the whole community up so definitely i think this is going to play a important role in us leading our way to olympics What's up? What's up? How are you doing? <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay, come in. Come. come. In. <laughs> this way. Trophies. <laughs> <laughs> I have more, you know. Like, really? Okay, yeah, I have more like that. You know. Oh shit! PC one. Yeah. This year we both won, so we both have the same trophy. Same trophy, yeah. <laughs> After learning this, I represent India in Poland. I'm a joke. We like learn a lot of things from there, you know. I feel like really proud, but I also feel pressure because there are few people who get the chance. So I feel if I get the chance, I need to prove myself. and sometimes i think that pressure is a bit hard for me to perform under i'm just trying to crack through that but it feels great for india to be there with all the other countries yeah play this was 4 years ago so i would have been breaking for like 2 3 years wow uh, <laughs> i was so uncontrolled <laughs> nice pants <pizza. laughs> <laughs> Dancer bands. <laughs> yeah, not even big girl bands. Yeah, big girl bands. <laughs> I don't dress like that now. <laughs> hey guys, if you guys wanna try, simple trick. When I started breaking, I didn't even imagine that breaking would be like considered a sport where we get to like train professionally. I'm going for training to Invictus uh, gym and it's about 30 minutes 40 minutes in traffic. I recently received a little bit of funding which covered some professional training. I've never been in a gym. All my training happened through yoga, breaking and a little bit of contemporary or classical training but i've never done strength training so it's been really crazy for the last couple of months waking up and going to the gym and thinking about my nutrition and being around other athletes it's been incredible having become independent out of necessity made me not know where i needed support I had no concept of support. <laughs> so the last few years has been trying to figure that out. It would be another dream to be at the Olympics. Paris 2024 would be a dream. It's not that far anymore. It's just like a year and a half. So I don't know yet what the process is going to be for the first time, how they're going to select people, but I see even 28 and 32 as possibilities for me. So I hope it'll happen. When I battle, I am completely on my own with my thoughts in that moment. And I'm very often battling the demons in my own head. I've had some of my most beautiful moments while battling. It's about being alone in those moments of pressure and really having your own back. From the time I was 7 up till 11 12 it 
What a lot of gaps, loneliness, darkness. I was very angry that I didn't get the same kind of protection that other kids got. Definitely, I felt like I lost out on having other people look out for me. The times I miss my dad, they're like very specific times. Like when I win a trophy, that's when I miss him. If I could say something to him right now, it would definitely be like, just, just that I hope, I hope I make you proud. Very curious and excited to see where this journey takes me. And I'm already excited with who I have become, honestly. Like with breaking and with everything that's happened, I'm already excited. So I'm just curious to see where it's gonna be.